Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Roosevelt Middle School in Oceanside, California, home of the Wildcats and a part of the Vista Unified School District. I was just talking to their after school program on the topic on the screen. It was basically bullying part two. We did part one when I was here last school year. And this is my first of three visits for the 2023-2024 school year. And so kind of tying this into diversity, our differences, but still being able to respect everyone and show that human kindness is really what I tried to convey today, right? And so in the NPR here, you know, we really had a great discussion. There was a lot of pin drop moments from the students uh, when I was sharing my heart, doing some positive music, showing some motivational videos, uh, had a few really powerful heartfelt stories too that tugged at the heart chords and the students, you know, really took it home. You know, had a couple come up to me after and said, hey, you know, what you said really touched my heart, and that means you have a big heart, and now it's up to you to go share that by how you choose to live, right? We talked about the concept of unconditional love, uh, love without any conditions, that we can still show that love to anyone despite their differences or their diversity. And that's whether it's on the outside, anything that might separate us there, or anything on the inside, you know, our talents, gifts, abilities, we can still look at those as opportunities to unify us. Right, so we gotta get past our judgments. It's okay to judge, I always say that, but take the time to get past that, right? Take the few extra seconds, minutes, to really get to know someone, kind of walk in their shoes for a minute. And once you do, you know, you start to create more empathy, uh, more compassion, and you start to really just understand that, you know, all of us really do need more kindness here in this world. And it's so important that we show these acts of kindness because it may not just be to the one or two people that we say something to or do something towards, could be anyone that's an earshot or eyesight of that act of kindness, that it starts to change their heart too in a positive way. And so to really get that and understand that all of us, again, are all miracles uh, is huge, right? It's a great life lesson to really take to heart and really think about, really contemplate that all of us with the lines on our hands have the letter M. I trace one of mine here again, like the front of my shirt. That M stands for miracle, upside down W for wildcats, now for worthy. We're all beautiful miracles, worthy of love to give it and receive it. You know, once we buy into that, you know, we not only start to respect ourselves, what we really talked about last time I came, we start to respect others too, right? That, that kindness, that peace does start in our hearts, but now it's up to us to go and share that. Right? And that's how we start to change this planet, change this world, is just one act of kindness at a time. In a world where you can be anything, we have to choose to be kind. So thank you so much for touching my heart. It was great seeing all of you again. Can't wait to see you a little bit later this school year. Until then, though, and as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll see it pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist below for some additional motivation. And feel free to also visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.